Hey guys, this is Titan Slayer 2 here. Well, um, I finished the Morlock, which I uh, won for that Beast of War contest, and it's behind here. So, um, I said it was going to be something different. So, here we are. Right, what I wanted to achieve is one actually coming out of the ground and attacking a squad erupting into like, the midst of uh, a Space Marine squad. Now, what I've done here, have it coming out of the ground, bursting out, and as you can see from this, he's got his tongue wrapped around this guy's leg. Now, I'll just do a round view for the base. Actually, first, this is all sort of okay for transport because you can. Most of it's magnetised and it's tied onto the base. So the base, this took me quite a while to make. This is made up of foam board, lots of rocks, and a lot of glue and sand, which is just really fun to make. Right, I wanted to do it as if it was like the edge of a road. So that's what I've done. It's like a road cracked and it's sort of exploded and this guy's been thrown back a little bit so as you can see it um, gets a bit darker to the centre and I've got three nice big magnets there which firmly hold this in place and I've dry brushed over the tail so it gets a bit well so you can't see it as much and it gets a bit darker uh, to give it a shadow. So as you can see it's quite a towering model over that guy. This one, this one's quite hard to make this I'm being thrown back. Ooh. <laughs> um but yeah, this fits into a little hole there which I made and place it in the right position. Because if he's been thrown back and I like this just Explosion, he was like standing on the road. And this guy, yeah, put a bit of green stuff work to this. And uh, it doesn't obscure the face, which I'm really pleased about. And the magnets, I had to mould a bit onto the bottom so it looked a bit better. I like the position I was having it in. The position of the whole Morlock altogether is I wanted to give it quite a squirmy look like so it's squirming as soon as it comes out the ground like as if it's erupting trying to assess its situation so looking around the model I think I made a quite a good job with this and um, paint job's quite nice and so if I hold this up actually does look like it's just erupted out of there and the base almost like exploded. So I hope you like it guys. Um I'm gonna put some pictures below this, some stills. Um but what I'd like to do is put some water effect on the mouth and all the purple. That make it look a lot better. But I haven't got any so if I ever get any I'll touch up most of my tyranids, mouths and stuff like that with that. So hope you like this guys and yeah, check out the pictures at the bottom and please rate and subscribe and hope you like it. Oh wait a sec. Yeah, the road markings as well. They are quite fun to do. Quite hard to do though if you and the road are made out of um a wood. Um what was this? Um this sort of hardboard. Um so that works really well, especially when I've got my Dremel cutting tool bit. So, yeah, and it painted up nicely, dry brushed, and I'm really pleased with the end result. Thanks, guys. See you later. Um, hope you enjoyed it.